Hey, what's up guys? Chris Altamirano here from vmaverick.com, internet marketing strategies that work. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add audio to your videos, right? It's actually really easy to do, so let's get started, all right? So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and open up ScreenFlow. If you don't have ScreenFlow, go ahead and pick that up. It's a really awesome video editing software that I use, and I think it's really easy to use, and actually probably the best video editing software out there for beginners. Um, and you can get awesome, like professional looking, like quality. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be able to make transformer videos, right? But you know, you are going to be able to put together some pretty cool looking videos. So, first you want to do is open up ScreenFlow, then grab your video clip. I have this clip right here from my GoPro. I'm just going to drop that right here in the media bar right here. If, if you don't know how to do that, click this little media icon right here, and then double click your clip, and then it, you'll see it pops up right here in the editor. I'm just going to stretch this to uh, kind of fit, and a whole shift, and then drag the corners, hold shift, drag the corners until it snaps into place, right? So this is me, random clip. That's me, random clip, I'm just driving. The first thing I wanna do, I'm just gonna split the clip so that it gets me like just driving down here, right? I want this like cool part where I'm just driving. So I'm gonna click on the clip down here, hold shift command T, that's going to split the clip down there. And now the yellow part right there, I don't want that part, so I'm going to push backspace and delete that. And I'm going to grab the second clip, drag it to the very beginning. And now, let's see, I'll just let it end. Let it end like right, right there. That's cool. Shift Command T. And now I don't want the rest of this clip, right? So depending on how long your clip is or how you want it, um, you know, that's an entirely different tutorial within itself, but that's how you split the clips and delete them. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and click on your actual clip that you have left and then right click and click detach audio. I don't want the audio on this file, so I detach the audio and now I delete the audio file. So now you'll see that it's just a clip itself, just the video. There's no sound, nothing, right? So that ScreenFlow makes it really easy to detach the audio, so that's a, a feature that I really like about that. So now I'm going to go back and let's go to iTunes, right? You want to make sure you have an MP3 file. Just to check that in iTunes, you right click on the file that you want, click get info, and then go to summary, and you'll see right here that it'll say what kind of format it is. This one is an MPEG-1 layer 3, so that's an MP3 file. I'm going to click OK, drag this file to my desktop. So now I have this, this is a little clip, a little audio file I want to use. And I'm going to go back to ScreenFlow. And let's drag this audio clip into our panel right here, little audio panel. And I'm going to double click that. And now you'll see that the audio clip actually pops up right here. So now, let me see, let's drag this up. Kind of have, see more of what we're doing. And now what we can do is let's drag that to the very beginning. And you'll see that when I push the space bar and it plays, the audio will play. Right, so if you wanted that to actually fade in, click the video clip, right click and put add starting transition. Zoom in on the bottom right here. A little more, whoops. Yeah, zoom in on the bottom, and now you'll see this little AB thing, right click. I always like to cross dissolve. I don't know why, I'm just obsessed with it. I think it's a really cool look. And then on this audio one, you can actually play with the audio settings up here. There's an audio little tab right here, I believe. And yeah, right here, little sound. You can mess with the volume. You can actually add um, you know, an, an audio action. So let's say that I want, let's see. So let's say that I want that to fade in more. I would add an audio action, right? And then I could adjust the volume up here and say I want it to be a little lower, right? And then get higher. Let's push play. Start at the beginning. So you'll see how it actually got lower right there. Um, and then you can actually add, you know, like a starting transition. And the starting transition, it actually, you can actually increase that like to six seconds and stuff. Let's see this one. We'll drag it right here. See how it stays it stays low for that entire time, right? And then it'll get higher once it exits that transition. So you can see right there how, just by dragging this part right here, that, you know, five, six seconds, that's how long you want it low. And then once it gets past that, it'll go back to the normal 
rate of 100%. You can adjust that up here in the audio properties. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's how you add audio to your videos. And I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Chris Altamirano here from vmout.com. Subscribe to the email newsletter when you get there. Rate this video up, like it, comment on it, leave your thoughts. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, happy video editing. All right, see ya.